Hey guys, it's Matthew here from Hearing Tracker, keeping you up to date with all new hearing aid technology. Today I'm reviewing the new Starkey Evolve and some of the incredible new features that they've introduced to the range. If you're keen on keeping up to date with the latest news in the hearing technology world, then make sure you subscribe to this channel, press that great notifications bell, and you'll be updated every time I release a new video. Starkey hearing aids are not just hearing aids. Starkey were the first to bring the term healthable to the hearing aid world when they released their Livio range in 2018. With this groundbreaking range of hearing aids, we saw a huge wave of new features driven by their new app, Thrive, and their desire to be more than a hearing aid, but also to be a device which is responsible for the overall health and well-being of the user. It's well researched now that there's a strong link between hearing loss, social isolation, depression, and cognitive decline. What Starkey aim to do with their tech is to not only treat the hearing loss, but also provide tools to help the user to meet their individual goals for both physical activity and social interaction in order to keep the brain stimulated. Well, we're three years and two generations on and Starkey have built on that even further with the Evolve. Initially, it was released in the autumn of 2021 and is available in the US as of now. However, it has been pushed back until the new year in some countries outside of the States. With today's video, I wanted to make sure that you have one place where all of the information was together on the Starkey Evolve range. There are a few new features in the range which I'll run through today. And the Evolves have some features that I've been working with over the past few years in previous generations of Starkey hearing aids. So in this video, I'll round up my experiences with these features, not only looking at the positives and the benefits, but also covering some of the drawbacks that I've come across too. The Evolve supersede the Livio AI, which was released at the tail end of 2019. So they follow the usual product cycle of the majority of hearing aid manufacturers, which is around two years. They come in four different technology levels, the 1200, 1600, 2000 and 2400, with the latter being the most advanced of the range. As the technology level increases, as to the number of features that you have access to and the degree of automation that the hearing aid has. This range is honestly one of the most comprehensive ranges of hearing aids that I've ever seen, ranging from their IIC hearing aids going up to their Power Plus BTE. The suitability of these hearing aids really depends on your configuration of hearing loss. I do have a lot of new patients investigating hearing aids for the first time coming into the clinic interested in the smallest in-the-ear hearing aids, such as the IIC shown here. However, there are a few drawbacks. They're not always the most suitable, they're not quite as robust as the behind-the-ear hearing aids, and there are a few features that you're missing out on by choosing an in-the-ear hearing aid over a receiver in the canal or a behind-the-ear hearing aid. If you want to see a more comprehensive review on the positives and negatives of in-the-ear hearing aids in general, I've covered that in this video, which I'll link in the description to today's review. The fitting ranges of these hearing aids do vary depending on the style that you go for. These are the various fitting ranges, so whether you have a mild, moderate, severe or profound hearing loss, the hearing aids can be ordered to suit your degree of hearing loss by changing the power of the receiver, which is the speaker on the hearing aid. If it's a custom made hearing aid or a behind the ear hearing aid, then this needs to be done when ordering the aid itself. If it's a receiver in the canal hearing aid, then these can be physically adjusted in clinic to suit the user. The beauty of this as well is that should your hearing deteriorate over a period of time, then the receiver in the canal style can be physically adjusted to suit that decline. Whereas with a custom made hearing aid or a behind the ear hearing aid, the fitting range is fixed. When coupling the receiver in the canal hearing aids to your ear, we can do so using a variety of different tips, depending on your hearing loss. These range from generic standard open domes, occluded domes, comfort domes and power domes. Alternatively, you can have custom molds fitted to the end of your hearing aids, which replace the rubber domes. These aren't the type of molds that you'd need to fill the entire bowl of the ear with, but rather just sit on the end of the hearing aid. The suitability of the domes really comes down to your configuration of hearing loss, and so your audiologist will be the best person to advise you of which is the most suitable type of dome for the end of your hearing aid. It isn't just based on the shape and size of your ear canal, but also, like I said, your configuration of hearing loss. 
As I mentioned before, there is a comprehensive range of styles with the Evolve range. And to start off, I'll take you on a tour of the over-the-ear styles, i.e. the receiver in the canal hearing aids and the behind-the-ear power hearing aids. This style of hearing aids tends to be the most advanced across all hearing aid manufacturers and is, as a result, the most popular style as well across all manufacturers. Visually, the Evolves don't look too dissimilar in shape and size to the previous Livio range. They sport either a push button or a rocker switch on the back, which is a soft key, so it can be programmed by your audiologist to have a number of different functions, such as adjusting the different acoustic profiles, which Starkey call memories, adjusting the volume control, or turning the hearing aids on or off. The Evolves come with three receiver in the ear styles, the Micro 312, RIC 312, and RIC R. The differences between the Micro and the RIC 312 are the size and the program buttons, the Micro being a push button and the RIC 312 being a rocker switch. If you're after the smallest receiver in the canal style, then the Micro RIC is definitely the one for you. The other RIC in the range is the RIC R, which is their rechargeable receiver in the canal hearing aid. I'll cover rechargeability later on in this video, but in summary, you should get a full day of life from a single charge, as opposed to using a size 312 battery with the other hearing aid which would need changing roughly every five to seven days with the non-rechargeable styles. Moving on to the behind the ear hearing aids, these either use a traditional ear mold or can be programmed to use a thin tube, which is a smaller tube trailing in front of the ear. These can be particularly useful for when a receiver in the canal hearing aid isn't suitable. For example, if one has a discharging ear or a very narrow ear canal and a standard receiver won't fit in your ear, or if a patient has dexterity issues. On top of that, the larger that these hearing aids are, then the more powerful they become, meaning that they can deal with a more severe degree of hearing loss. The last style in the range are their customs. These range from the smallest CICs going up to a full shell hearing aid. I will say that if somebody comes into my practice and discretion is high on their list of things when it comes to a conventional hearing aid, then Starkey will do an incredibly neat job with their IIC non-wireless. One great new addition to the range is their wireless CIC, which uses the extraction cord as an antenna and allows connectivity to both Android and iOS. Starkey are claiming that this should be the world's smallest CIC, so I'm super excited to see exactly how small these hearing aids end up coming out. We have seen attempts from other manufacturers with wireless CICs, such as Resound's Lynx Quattro. However, in reality, they don't tend to end up being the most discreet of hearing aids. The full shell and half shell are rechargeable with full wireless functionality and in my opinion are trying to disguise themselves as wireless headphones and fill the hearable space in the market. I've had a few patients interested in them trying to hide their hearing aids in plain sight but they're also great for those with dexterity issues who may struggle with changing batteries or inserting other styles of hearing aids. Both the behind the ear and in the ear hearing aids come in a range of colors, which similar to other hearing aid manufacturers, Starkey produce their hearing aids to match different hair colors and skin tones. Your audiologist should have a chart to help you choose the right color for you. They're mainly matted nowadays, so they don't tend to catch the light. The most popular color that patients tend to choose in my practice is this champagne color. The custom in the ear versions come in a range of colors too. You may note that all of the marketing that you'll see on the Starkey range is around the black color as they're trying to make them look cool and sleek like a set of wireless headphones, similar to that of the Phonak Verto Marvel Black. However, they do come in skin tones too. Personally, I think that this black embraces the hearable theme and is something that we'll see more of in the future, not only from Starkey, but also from other hearing aid manufacturers too. The Evolves still use the same wax guards as the previous range, which are the Hear Clear Hearing Aid wax guards. If you're ordering an in-ear hearing aid, the default isn't always to have a wax guard built into it, so it can mean that they are more susceptible to wax. Personally, I always request to have the hearing aids built with this system in place. Now that's the physical side of things covered, let's talk about what these hearing aids can really do. The Evolve range is built with an existing chip that Starkey have used in their Livia range, the Thrive chip. So it has some of the same great features of their previous hearing aid technology with some incredible additional benefits. These are the key features that we're looking at in the Evolve range today. If you're thinking, why do I need Bluetooth in my hearing aids? It's a great question. And I've made a video covering this exact subject, which I'll link in the description to this video. But in summary, it means that you can stream phone calls, music, and other radio or podcasts 
directly to your ears. There's even an app that allows you to manually make adjustments to the settings on your hearing aids if you want to override the automatic settings. One drawback with some previous Starkey hearing aids was their inability to stream with Android phones. So whilst the user was able to connect to an Android device and use the Starkey Thrive app to adjust the hearing aid settings, they weren't able to stream media or phone calls as you can do with an iPhone. This on occasion did mean that I would potentially have been swayed away from a Starkey hearing aid depending on the type of cell phone that someone had. However, in 2020, Starkey announced that going forward, their technology wouldn't have limitations from a streaming point of view based on whether the hearing aid user is on Android or iOS, as long as it has a minimum of Android version 10 and Bluetooth version 5. The only downside of this setup versus the likes of Phonak or Unitron is that it doesn't use classic Bluetooth. So it will only connect with a smartphone or iPad rather than being able to connect to any Bluetooth device. There is one other useful Bluetooth feature that both Phonak and Unitron have that Starkey don't on their Evolve range, which is the ability to pick up a hearing aid user's voice when on a phone call, meaning that they can really be used as a truly hands-free setup and your phone can be kept in your pocket. Starkey have announced that this will be possible with their hearing aids by the end of 2021, so watch this space for any updates on that. Now, I say this, however, whilst this feature in theory is fantastic, I do have patients wearing hearing aids from other manufacturers that do have that feature built in, and there are complaints that it's quite difficult for the person on the other end of the line to hear them as the hearing aid microphones can be known to pick up a little bit too much background noise and so it's more difficult for the person on the other end of the phone to hear the hearing aid user speaking. One thing that I'm hoping for is that because Starkey are a little bit later to the game with this, they will have learnt from some of the other manufacturers and their failings, or at least the user will have the ability to switch between the microphones on the hearing aids and the microphones on the phone to pick up the sound of somebody's voice, which is not currently possible with other manufacturers. If you've seen my recent reviews on both the Phonak Paradise and Oticon More, you'll have seen how all manufacturers are now utilizing artificial intelligence. Edge mode is Starkey's answer to that. In previous hearing aids, this was only available in their premium model, which was the 2400. Starkey have now stopped it from being a solely premium feature and with Evolve, it's available in the 2400, 2000 and 1600 models, which are the premium, advanced and select technology levels. Edge mode doesn't come with the non-wireless styles, i.e. the non-wireless IIC and CIC, or any hearing aids in the 1200 model, which is their basic hearing aid. When edge mode is activated, the hearing aids conduct an AI-based analysis of your current environment. The hearing aids will then adjust their parameters in order to optimize the listening situation for the hearing aid user. This should make immediate adjustments designed to improve speech audibility issues caused by the likes of background noise and Starkey claim that this even helps when people are wearing face masks. As a result, Starkey are boasting that users should see a 40% reduction in noise energy compared to their previous technology, with the end result for the hearing aid user being improved speech understanding in background noise. With the 2400, you can activate it using a tap with the tap control features on the hearing aids, which I'll cover more on later on in this video. And with the 2000 and 1600, it's activated using the Thrive app, which we'll come on to next. Each hearing aid manufacturer has its own app for their Bluetooth compatible hearing aids, which is worth a video in itself just covering the app's functions. For Starkey, I would say that this is an even greater area of focus compared to other manufacturers, as they have a huge number of features that run off the app, really putting the user in the driving seat with these hearing aids. Their app is called Thrive and is available on both iOS and Android devices. Whilst it allows the hearing aid user to make similar basic adjustments to the settings on the hearing aids compared to other hearing aid manufacturers, such as adjusting the volume, changing to different programs, it also has a long list of other key features, which is what brings the Starkey hearing aid into the healthable arena that we were discussing earlier on in this video. The Thrive app is unlike any other hearing aid app out there. It really puts the hearing aid user in control of their hearing aids as far as being able to manage additional features on them. If you're not into your tech and you're not interested in adjusting the hearing aids using the app, then that's not an issue. These hearing aids will still function even if you don't even own a cell phone. However, there is a list as long as my arm of features that you have access to via the Thrive app, which would take me a week to run through them all. I'll cover as much as possible for this video. However,
However, if you're after any specific details on other features that I don't have the opportunity to cover today, then put those comments in the description to this video and I'll be sure to get back to you. Okay, so starting with the basics, the home screen on the app allows the hearing aid user to increase and decrease the volume, which can be done together or with each ear individually, and it allows the user to adjust the memories, which is Starkey's name for different programs. It's even possible to set your own memories and attach them to a specific location. So if, for example, every time you go to the cinema and you find that it's a little loud, you can set this up to automatically adjust to that setting when you arrive to that particular location. A few of the manufacturers Manufacturers now allow access to a graphic equalizer. Starkey have their own four point graphic equalizer for the user to adjust the lows, mids, highs, and ultra high frequencies to suit your own needs. I really like this degree of flexibility, especially for those that are into their music, as it can be useful to try and optimize things and make sounds sound a little bit less harsh and a little bit more natural. So building on what I was saying earlier about the Starkey hearing aids being more than hearing aids, Starkey have their own version of a Fitbit built into the Thrive app, which measures your physical activity. For example, how many steps you've taken, how much exercise you've done, and how long you've been standing for. These hearing aids can also track your engagement levels to see how much stimulation you've had. This monitors not only your hearing aid use, but also the amount of interaction that you've had with other people and how varied the environments have been. Interwoven within that, it's even possible with some models to track your heart rate. This is all looking at the bigger picture and noting the relationship between cognitive decline and hearing loss. As we know, there is a huge link in these areas and it's great that the hearing aid manufacturers are putting things in place to try and encourage the hearing aid users to wear their hearing aids as much as possible. There are also a couple of features that have been cleverly thought about for if you have an elderly or frail relative that you would like to know is safe from afar. The Thrive Care feature allows the user of the hearing aid to share certain information about their physical activities, hearing aid usage, and social engagement with selected groups of people. This can be used in combination with the fall alerts. The Evolves have motion sensors built into them that are able to provide us with all of this really useful information. And with the fall detection system, the hearing aids will send an automatic message to a person of your choice should you have fallen over. The app has a great Find My Hearing Aids feature, which if one of your hearing aids falls out, it will show you on a map the last time that your phone and your hearing aids were together. I have had patients find their hearing aids as a result of utilizing this feature. The hearing aid self-check is another feature which is completely unique to Starkey, which is great if you're concerned that there's a fault with your hearing aids. It's a quick screening process that analyzes not only if there's a fault with your hearing aids, but also the component in the hearing aid that's causing the issue. Starkey are the only manufacturers to have a live translation function built into their hearing aid app. And I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty cool feature. It's available in the 2400 tech level and it's their version of the live voice version of Google Translate. And it works. Plus, it's pretty accurate as well. Very simply, when you speak into your phone, the Thrive app will translate your speech and display it on the screen in the other person's language. And then when the other person speaks, the app will translate their speech, display it in your language on the phone, and also stream the translated text to your hearing aids in your language too. It can sometimes struggle to keep up if people speak at a pace which is too quick for the app to keep up with. It does require an internet connection for it to work, and it currently works with these 27, yes, 27 different languages. <laughs> Following on from that theme is the transcribe feature. There are a few non-hearing aid related apps that do this already, and it's a natural step for Starkey to include this within their Thrive app. Essentially, it provides closed captions for the real world. If you're in an environment where you're struggling to hear and would just like a little bit of a backup or support, then the phone can be kept in front of you and you'll have a live transcription on your smartphone screen. Not only that, but there's also the ability to save, message, copy, or even email the transcribed text to yourself. This is so useful if you're concerned about remembering or missing anything from a conversation. 
Starkey have taken an approach similar to that of AirPods or other conventional headphones by utilizing the motion sensors and having a tap control feature. This means that by tapping the hearing aids, different functions can be performed. These can be functions such as stopping or starting audio streaming and also activated the Thrive Assistant, which we'll talk about in a second. As a whole, Tap Assist is great in combination with the Thrive app as it removes the challenges that come with fiddling with hard to press buttons on the back of hearing aids. The function of the Tap Assist is customizable via the Thrive app. And the thing that I like about this over the Phonak Paradise Tap Control is that you can change the sensitivity. And why is that important? Well, one issue that I've had with the Phonak tap control is that I've had to turn it off with quite a few patients, as patients would accidentally tap it and end up starting Siri or Google Assistant by accident. By having the ability to decrease the sensitivity, you can be sure that it will only work when you really want it to. So good job, Starkey. The Thrive Assistant is an app-based assistant providing hands-free help whenever and wherever needed. Users can ask questions, troubleshoot hearing aid and accessory issues, or simply say a command to change the hearing aid volume, mute the hearing aids, change programs, or to set a reminder. This can be accessed through the app or using the tap feature. Starkey Evolve's rechargeable hearing aids are available across all different technology levels. They use the industry standard lithium ion technology. Not only are they available for the receiver in the canal hearing aids, but as I mentioned before, there are also two styles of in-the-ear hearing aids that are rechargeable too. This means that for a three hour charge, one should get a full 24 hours of battery life. There's clever circuitry in place, meaning that the hearing aids can be left on charge overnight and it shouldn't do any damage to the battery. The battery life is reduced with more streaming. However, with constant streaming throughout the day, the batteries will still last for a full waking day. The great thing is that if you forget to charge them one night, you can still put them in the charger for 30 minutes while getting ready in the morning and you will still have six hours charge from a 30 minute blast in the charger. With standard hearing aids, I haven't come across anybody yet with issues in terms of the batteries not lasting for a full day. The only time that I've had an issue with this is with patients using the rechargeable cross system on the previous generation of Starkey hearing aids. And by six or seven o'clock, the battery sometimes needed recharging using the Starkey turbocharger. I'm hoping that this has been looked into in this new generation of hearing aids and isn't an issue going forwards. If you're a tinnitus sufferer, then Starkey's Multiflex Tinnitus Stimulus feature is a sound generator that can be integrated into your day-to-day -day hearing via the hearing aids, allowing you to play various sounds that can help you to move your attention away from your tinnitus. It's available in all technology levels and the signal can be presented in three different ways. The white noise is based on a patient's pure tone average and provides equal energy distribution across all frequencies. The challenge with this stimulus is that a flat response may sometimes result in segments of the stimulus being too loud or too soft if the hearing aid user doesn't have a flat hearing loss. This is where the audiogram shaped signal uses the patient's more specific individual thresholds to shape the stimulus. This reduces the likelihood that the signal will be either too loud or too soft in certain frequency regions and helps to account for loss of low frequency sounds due to acoustic leakage. Starkey have also taken this one step further still with their custom stimulus, which allows shaping of the multiflex tinnitus stimulus for a personalized signal with a greater degree of precision. This uses the audiogram and the patient's personal preferences and perceptions. By having these three tools for combating tinnitus, these hearing aids are a great option should you suffer with tinnitus and they can be adapted to match your needs. One great feature that I've really taken advantage of over the last 18 months with all hearing aid manufacturers is the ability to remotely adjust hearing aids without the patient being in clinic. Again, this is done via the Starkey Thrive app and allows me to adjust the settings on the hearing aids from the clinic whilst the patient is sat at home. I personally don't like to make remote changes too early in the fitting process as nothing beats having the patient sat in front of me to get those initial adjustments just right for them. Plus, it's more likely early on that we would need to look at making some physical adjustments, whether that's the wire length or the dome on the end of the hearing aids. There are a few features that it's not possible to adjust remotely. However, for the most part, it's great to have this backup if a patient can't make it to the clinic. During the process, you can even see your audiologists via a webcam. The only thing that I'm not keen on with remote adjustments is that the first thing that I would normally do if a patient walks into the clinic is to examine the ears. And I don't have the ability if I'm remotely making changes. So I'm not able to rule out any issues with the ear that could be potentially causing the need for adjustments. 
Starkey have done a great job at recognizing where hearing aid technology alone will struggle to overcome hearing challenges. And as a result, they have a great range of accessories, such as their table microphone for use in large meetings or restaurants, their mini remote microphone and remote microphone plus, which are great for hands-free calls or lectures. Their TV streamer, which allows for streaming for both the television directly to both hearing aids. And finally, their remote control, which is really useful should you not have a smartphone, but you still want to make adjustments without pressing the button on the back of the hearing aids. As you can see, Starkey have really taken their tech to the next level, and it may well be that these Starkey hearing aids have certain features that stand out for you. Feature-wise, I think that Starkey have produced a great all-round hearing aid and have tried to tick as many boxes for as many people as possible. I would love to know if any of these features specifically stand out to you. I hope you found this video useful, guys. If you like this video, please hit like. If you have any questions, make sure that you drop them in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. I'll see you in the next video.